Now, let's turn up the heat. While part one covered the raw ingredients of flavor, cooking is where chemistry becomes culinary magic. Through controlled reactions, we transform bland molecules into symphonies of taste, aroma, and color. This is the most important reaction in cooking. It's the reason seared steak, toasted bread, and roasted coffee smell and taste so divine. Named after French chemist Louis Camille Maillard, it's a complex series of reactions between amino acids and reducing sugars when heated above 285 degrees itself. It does not create just one flavor, but hundreds of new aroma compounds and pigments called melanoidins. This produces a beautiful, savory brown crust on bread, meat, and fries. A deep, complex, nutty, roasted, and meaty flavor profile. The specific flavors depend on the proteins and sugars present. Mylard requires dry heat. Boiling or steaming won't trigger it. You need roasting, grilling, searing, or baking. Often confused with Mylard, caramelization is sugar's own solo performance. The thermal decomposition of sugar when heated to around 340 degrees in the absence of proteins. The sugar molecules break down and recombine into new compounds. A progression from sweet to nutty to slightly bitter with a deep amber color. It's the essence of caramel sauce, the crust on creme brulee, and the sweetness of roasted vegetables like carrots and onions. No amino acids are involved. It's pure sugar chemistry. Fat is not just a source of richness. It's the essential medium for flavor. Many crucial aromatic and flavor molecules are fat soluble, not water soluble. Fat captures and carries these compounds directly to your taste and smell receptors. Fat provides even high heat cooking, enabling myelard reactions and crisping textures. Fat coats the tongue, delivering flavors slowly and creating a luxurious lingering sensation. How do we combine fat and water to unify flavors? Emulsifiers are the peacekeepers. Molecules like lecithin have one end that loves water and one end that loves oil. They surround droplets of one liquid and suspend it in the other, creating a stable, creamy mixture. A perfectly balanced sauce where fat-soluble and water-soluble flavors are harmoniously delivered in every bite. In part three, we will explore how chefs and food scientists apply these principles to create balance surprise and delight.